Hello, everyone. You're watching Madden Ultimate Team, and I'm your host, The Coach. This game should not disappoint, so sit back and put that remote down. And off we go from SoFi Stadium. Reed going to bring it out of the end zone. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. So here are the Lions now coming out for their opening drive. They'll have Cam Newton calling the shots. The big man under center at 6'5", nearly 250 pounds. And many people are having difficulty pegging exactly what they believe Cam Newton is at this point in his career. For me, when I see certain days and he's right, he can still be an accurate passer, can still get the ball downfield. And his running ability, especially inside the 10, still makes him a difficult quarterback to prepare for. Here we go, here we go. Start the drive with a carry by, and oh, right away, he lost the football. And it's picked up by the Steelers. And they have the football and will take over at the 24-yard line. To put it mildly, that is not the way anyone wants to start off a game. You fumble on your first offensive snap. But now what you're worried about is, does that linger throughout the game for your guys on offense? And how's the defense going to handle it? Because no one expects to run out on the field on the first play and have to all of a sudden start to play themselves. They run on first down with Jackson. And yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Pretty effective run there, and now they can start to smell that end zone. Pound the rock. Make sure you use your own line to set the tone of dominance and physicality, and pound the rock. Two yards on the pickup, and that's all they needed to move the sticks. And Brandon, you know that expression? He just does what he does. <laughs> it sounds trite, doesn't it? But in this case, it's perfectly apt. This is one of the better runners in the NFL. And all he does is just find avenues, find ways to pick up key first downs and big runs. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. They'll try the middle with Lynch. And he's going to get about four down inside the 10 to the 9. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. That was to accomplish what they did to get him into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They need to make up some ground, and they did. Now he won't quite make it. He needed six. He got about five. Fourth down. Well, we hear so often how tackling has become almost a lost art in the NFL game. But it's so important to tackle well on these receivers, especially in a play like this one. Third down, they gave him the underneath stuff. You got to go up and make the tackle right away. chance to convert that early turnover into points. They'll run with Lynch, and he's in! Touchdown, Pittsburgh! A touchdown run there from a yard out, and the Steelers take the early turnover and convert it into an opening touchdown. 
A solid blocking up front from the guys on the offensive line allowed him to get in for the touchdown. Yeah, some might say that the guys on the offensive line were in concert. I used to have a coach who called it marrying up. Meaning, when you get on a guy, you just stay right there. Each guy has his own assignment. That allowed the runner to make the big move towards the end zone. Will Lott's on for the point after. And he'll put it through to make it 7-0 Steelers. So that drives seven plays in length. And polishing it all off, Marshawn Lynch with the TD run. Here's the Steelers kick team as they'll boot this one away. Reed going to bring it out of the end zone. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. Back onto the field come the Lions for their second overall drive. They had to fumble on the last drive, wound up leading to the opening touchdown. Now they'll try again here, first and 10. Newton. That's caught by his big tight end, Mike Kosicki. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. They'll fake the handoff. Now Newton. Throw right side complete to Williams. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. First catch for him on the afternoon, and it results in a first down. Second and short, that's a rundown, so it's definitely a good time to go play action if you're feeling it. And they do so and pick up a first down. To back good plays have them on the move on first down. Newton now to throw. He's got the Hall of Famer, Harold Carmichael. And they'll get this down to around the 47 yard line. And I think this is a route we'll see more of as this game goes on because with his speed, they want to get him the ball in space on drag routes just like this. They want him to get the ball and run after the catch. Good job there, though, holding him for a short game. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. The Lions with the football here to begin the second quarter as they've got it with a second down and two coming up. the pickup and that's a first down yeah once more strong running excellent blocking at the point of attack they got a nice little drive brewing right here the middle they run with Bettis. 
What a nice burst there as he'll take this inside the 30 to the 28-yard line. He'll get a dozen there, and the Lions have a first down. It's a big place in the passing game on this drive, and here's one out of the running game. So the passing game loosening things up. Now there's room to roam. First down. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Go with a dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field are covering up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. So now they'll come up on second and ten, once again from the 28. Now Newton. Looking left sideline, incomplete. That play call wasn't there for them against that coverage. So they're going to spin the dial now in their playbook and come up with one more shot at the marker to try and keep this series going. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions. Have a look at it, third and ten. Now Newton. Open man is Metcalf. He's got it. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. Now it's Newton. Got a man and he hits him in stride. Touchdown! Magdasicki. From 10 yards out, and the Lions are an extra point away from evening this one up. A good tight end is a heck of a weapon for any quarterback, especially when you're able to create some mismatches. Sometimes they work against a linebacker, sometimes they work against a smaller defensive back. But when they find it, they go to it, and it often results in touchdowns. The Tyler Bass on for the extra point attempt. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. That time, a nine-play drive. And it all concluded with a touchdown pass to the tight end, Mike Gesicki. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. Taking it at about the one. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. So Pittsburgh retakes the field for their second offensive possession. A lot of time for this unit to game plan on the sideline after that drop. They watch the other side just score. But remember, last time they were out, they scored as well. We'll see if they can seize that momentum right back. And they have had a lot of time to cool off from reaching the end zone the last time. So have they been able to keep themselves mentally sharp and into this game, even though they haven't been on the field? And you and I both know, one big play, though, gets them right back up to that level. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. From the gun, it's Hurts. Well, it's caught on the right side, it's Smith. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective. They're able to stop him before you get a good head of steam going. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Wow. 
On fourth down, here's Andy Leon to kick it away. And look at this, it's a fake. And this is going to blow up in their faces. Not only do they not get the first, they're going to lose big yardage as well. There are times to run that fake, and there are times to not run it. And this, without question, would fall in the latter category. Well, I don't know about without question, partner. I think we should look at the analytics on this one because, oh, yeah, the analytics say, yeah, without question. You should have gone ahead and punted the football because now not only did you not get it and you really had no chance to, what a short field that you turned the ball over to the other offense. Ready. Flag comes in. This might be a free play. He hits Dobbs on the crosser. And they're going to get this down to about the 17-yard line here. Well, we looked at each other right when he flinched. We knew that that flag was coming. Yeah, offsides, easy call. Mark off the five and keep it moving. A boost here to start the drive. After the penalty, it's first and five. Throwing is Newton. On the right side open is Gasicki. And the Lions are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. The Lions now are going to use the second of their timeouts. As they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Newton to throw. And he's got his man. It's caught for a Lion touchdown. DK Metcalf from a yard out. And the Lions will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. CD for them. This has just been an offensive explosion here in the second quarter. Yeah, held scoreless in the first quarter. Now they find the end zone again here in the second. Sometimes you just have to have some patience. A lot of people think it's always an adjustment. You have to change what you're doing. Sometimes you just have to do your game plan just a little bit better. And I think that's part of what we're seeing here. An extra point by Bass. Up and good. And that makes the score 14-7. to seven. to the touchdown pass to kick it away. This will be fielded inside the five. The Steelers taking over now late in this first half. And with just under a minute to go, they might try to think about mounting a drive here if they can and get in the end zone. Could potentially tie this game up. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. Over the middle complete. That's Lynch. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Throwing again on second down. Hurts. A quick throw knocked away and incomplete. And that's a nice job there because you've got to play the ball, not the man winning coverage. That'll keep you away from a lot of needless penalties. And he's able to knock that one away. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. Out to his left. That's complete to DK Metcalf. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. Well, they were in search of a short gain on third down, and they wind up nabbing over 20 yards. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. We welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon getting set for quarter number three here. The Steelers going to get the football first here, trailing on the scoreboard as we are back underway on EA Sports. Taken at the goal line. A oh, good looking return set up here. He's at the 40, the 20. He will score. Touchdown, Steelers. I know a lot of 
special teams coaches, they just want to keep it away from him because that's what he can do. And others have egos that their players can't keep up with. And they say, challenge him. Kick it to him. The way he runs as fast as he is, I wouldn't challenge him at all. I'd do everything possible to keep it away. He is just a blur when he gets a full head of steam, and he got a full head of steam there. Point. And we've got a good one brewing. We're all knotted up at 14. Well, we talk a lot about explosive plays on offense. How about an explosive play on special teams? Certainly one there on the kick return for a touchdown. So all square here in this third quarter as the kick's away. Reed going to bring it out of the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. So we get a look at the Lions offense as they get ready for their first possession of the second half. caught it's Romeo Dobbs stopped at the 24 yard line after a gain of five they kept the receiver in the short field but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react now a give up the middle to Bettis nowhere to go that time might have gotten a yard up to the 25 what an advantage having a lead guy to build a defensive line because not only does he take up the space and let the linebackers run free, but he can also make plays himself, as we just saw there. Newton now to throw. Throw that set. Oh, he put it on the carpet, a fumble. And it's picked up by the Steelers. And that, Charles, you'd have to think, a pretty avoidable mistake. You're exactly right about that, partner, because it all comes down to covering up the football. Look, turnovers are going to happen. They're inevitable. But in a tie game in the third quarter, those turnovers can change the tide of the ball game. And now it's up to their defense to try and bail them out. Got to take care of the rock. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. They'll try to get something going with Marshawn Lynch. And he goes down at the 26. A pickup of 13, and that last play began at the 13. First down. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. And how about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. First and ten, it's Hurts. And oh, that nearly their first pick of the game, but it falls down to the ground incomplete. Third quarter, all tied up. This is second and ten. They go up the middle with Lynch. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. Now Lutz for the field goal try. This is a 40-yard attempt from the left hash. Oh, look at this. A flip to the kicker. He's going to try to run for it. 
They're not going to get it. They try to move the chains with a surprise, but it's a turnover on downs. They pass up the three, fake it. It doesn't work. And the Lions will take over. Detroit's offense ready to take over. And a fumble last time. Ball security. Talk about it all the time in the National Football League. They've got to be better at it on this drive. Don't you think that when every team gets together for the first time, I don't care if it's OTAs, mini camps, first and first day of camp in the regular season, ball security comes up about, what, the second sentence of the coach's yeah. address? And there's a, so many drills focus on that. All the time, and they do drills to make it even tougher to simulate game situations. Doesn't always work out, though. Javon Holland coming up to make the stop. From the 31, Newton. And his throw is going to be incomplete. He was out there waving his arms, saying, throw it here, dropped it. Not a good look. Well, all I can do is just look at him with contempt on that one. As a defensive back, I'm saying, not as an announcer. Just like, really? A little bit of a diva look, isn't it? Yeah, very much so. Because I think what happens is he just had too much time to think. He's wide open now. Here comes the ball. And he doesn't concentrate and drops it. 15 yards for the Lions there on a first down. Caught that look from me there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. He was looking for his tight end, Mike Kosicki, but it's going to be second down. The coverage was good, but I just wonder if they absolutely fooled the quarterback on that play. I think he was expecting something else. Ended up with nowhere to throw the football successfully. Newton's throw here, taken in by Gesicki. And they're going to have themselves another first down as the tap is made at the Steelers' 43. another play as time has run out on this third quarter you are watching Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports back now here on EA Sports all even as we get ready to start the fourth to the air again Newton over the middle that's caught oh no he lost the football and it's picked up by the Steelers and his guys are going to take over at the 34 yard line well so much for the four minute offense they were trying to reduce the clock get in position to win the game and leave no time for them to come back and catch them and guess what they turned the ball over yeah, yeah. yeah I mean they had it all set up for themselves and they let it get away From the 34 now, here's first and 10. They start the drive with Lynch. <laughs> 40 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. A CD a lot of times like to separate speed and quickness, and they've got a back that's both. We know that he's fast in the open field, but man, his first step is so quick, too. It is something, isn't it? Because you think of that type of speed getting to the perimeter and turning up field, but also when you run those inside runs, he can get into the secondary so fast the linebackers don't have a chance to react. Okay, break. Ready. Play action. Here's Hurts. He'll buy some time right. And the catch made by Johnson. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. Off the play fake. Here's Hurts. Rolling to his right. But it's caught at the 10. He'll head out of bounds inside the 10. Mark him down at the 9. 33 yards that time. In our pregame meeting, all they talked about was keeping him hemmed in and wanting him to make his throws from the pocket because they knew he was pretty dangerous if he got outside, and he just showed it right there. Pretty good arm, too. The chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the 10. Here's Hurts to throw. A 
quick throw there going to be batted away and incomplete. Partner, for once in my life, I'll be succinct. In a one-possession game, every single stop like that could be a difference maker. Second down and goal. Hurts. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. All right, Captain. He's batting down the hatches time defensively. Dodge two pass attempts to the end zone. Now what do you think they're trying to dial up on third and goal? Well, knowing them and knowing what we've just seen, I think they're throwing it again, don't you? I think you have to. I think in this situation, you kind of run out of your running plays. Fire another one into the end zone. What an excellent defensive stand there in the red zone. Nice tight coverage. They certainly recognized how important it was to bring that fourth down here. And that's off the right, upright. Thought it might sneak in, but it did not. It's no good. And a costly one there as this game remains tied here in the fourth. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And they got across the 50 last time, but fumbled and turned it over, so they'll be looking to have a short-term memory here, Mr. Davis. Not only a short-term memory, but a whole lot better ball security. <laughs> because if they take Offside. care of the ball, continue to move it, their chances of scoring some points, they've got to feel pretty good about. They thought they had things moving in the right direction last time. Fumbles, they don't just affect you on offense, they affect your overall team, time. because now your defense has to make that stand up. So this helps to start a drive. After the penalty, it'll be first and five. Cam to throw. Oh, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. A couple extra defensive backs out there in the dive, and because of that, really not many places to throw the football, if any. And typically, what would you want to do against that dive? Run the football. You want to run the ball, but you can't do it in this situation. Not nearly enough time on the clock. You have to really navigate against a tough defense presented against you. Now a dump, and he loses the football a second time. And it's picked up by the Steelers. And his guys are going to take over at their own 48-yard line. And now three drives, three fumbles. What's amazing about it is when we go around and watch practices, how many times do we see them put that sleeve over a football now to make it more slippery, yeah, slippery. and hard to handle? It's almost like they're playing with that sleeve on the ball right now. Was that three drives? Yep. Three fumbles? Three fumbles. It's time to change our luck some way, somehow. Focus, concentration, you'll hear those words on the bench in a big way right now. On first down, Hurts. He shakes it off, eluding the pressure right. Now he's going to throw it back deep over the middle. This is caught inside the 15. A big play that time for Pittsburgh. 41 yards. Charles, just a gigantic play right there. Absolute breakdown defensively, but take no credit away. A huge gain, and that turns things around. field position after the big play inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10 and they'll give to Lynch out of the gun the excellent play last time is followed by a much more routine gain of three but they picked up a little bit of yardage there and now in this situation should be in no hurry to run a play really fast let the clock wind down well, they'll get this halfway home from the eight to the four on a gain of four now, what's the thinking here? Because a touchdown would be nice, but you've ensured yourself a chance at three in the lead, so how worried are you about the six? You're not very worried about if you're confident in your kicker. And if you got a kicker and you put it through the post, you feel really good about trying to bleed that clock down. And in an ideal scenario, your kicker puts it through the post as the clock hits zeros. Well, we've seen running backs in today's NFL get involved in the passing game. Maybe it's about time more receivers like that get involved in the running game. And that is something we are seeing more and more in this league, no question about it. That wasn't the biggest of gains, but it was enough to get them a first down. And it continues to test the defense. They have to think on every play about who might end up with the ball. 
The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the ball game. A game-winning field goal would be a chip shot from here. Let's see how they play it on first and goal. They'll run for it with Lynch. And he's in for the touchdown. And in the final seconds, forget overtime. They just likely won this thing in regulation. And that score in this time frame, that's like a big reveal at the end of a great movie, isn't it? <laughs> nowhere almost it appears they get it done how about that score it finishes like this this is why we love sports this is why we love the game of football so glad that we got to be here to watch this one wants to try to add the PAT And it would appear they're going to get out of here with a come-from-behind victory. The drive summary that time, five plays. And it's capped off by the late touchdown. It's a seven-point lead here in the final minute of the game. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This taken in at the goal line. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together and say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily what you look at your plays. Oh, this hurts the defense. I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go to the playmakers. Well, it took us until the final play, Charles, to officially decide a winner. Although on that last play, they were so backed up, it would have taken a miracle, and they couldn't get that miracle done. Well, I like how you stayed with it because we both knew that this had to go down to the last play, and neither side was going to exhale until that play concluded because we've seen the improbable before. A couple of laterals, maybe some poor defense on the back end. They might have gone all the way to the end zone. In this case, though, it didn't happen. Perhaps next time.